Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the Pacific Coast here in California. This is the most diverse habitat probably on Earth. And as a matter of fact, this area of the California coast has been called the greatest meeting between land and sea simply because of the diversity of animals that can be found along its shore. Just along the California coast, there are five species of seals, let alone all of the sea anemones and other sea creatures that can be found along the tide pools here along the shore. And most notably, this is home to giant kelp forests just off the shore here, which are also home to one of the most iconic Pacific mammals, the giant sea otter. So in this video, I'm gonna to tour along the California Pacific Coast here and show you guys some of the most amazing marine animals that call this incredible place home. So this is Morro Bay here at low tide. And at low tide, obviously, it's the best time to walk along these rocks and see all the really cool sea critters that are here in these tide pools. And look at this. This is a sea anemone that's all closed up and the high tide will come in and these guys will be submerged once again. But look at this tide pool here. It's just full of these sea anemones. Man, these are awesome little critters. So sea anemones are actually related to starfish, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come here, was to see if we could see some of the sea stars that are found along these rocks. But in 2013, disaster struck from Alaska all the way down here to California. The sea star wasting syndrome struck. It's a mysterious and deadly disease that caused them to lose limbs and even completely dissolve into white gelatinous goo. It's a terrible disease that plagued millions of sea stars, again from Alaska all the way down here to the California coast. And unfortunately, it killed off almost 95% of the sea star population along the entire western coast of North America. So I had really hoped to come here to Morro Bay where I had heard that the sea stars were making a comeback, but Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a single one here, but it was actually kind of cool to come to this beach anyway to see the sea anemones and all of the other cool things that we can see in the tide pools here. But unfortunately, it might take a couple of years more for the sea stars to come back to this beach. Well guys, the tide is coming in and all of these tide pools are getting submerged, but as the tide comes in, so do the giant sea otters. So we're gonna go to a spot a little further up the shore. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some giant sea otters up there. So this is also Morro Bay, just a little bit down the coast from where we just were. But in this quiet little harbor over here is the best place to see giant sea otters. And as a matter of fact, there's one sitting right over there. So look at this guys, everybody knows what a sand dollar is. And sand dollars are actually the skeleton of sea urchins. And off in the kelp forests, just off the shore here, the base of these kelp forests are covered in sea urchins and the sea urchins feed on the root systems of these kelp forests. And if it wasn't for the giant sea otters that feed off the sea urchins, the kelp forest couldn't exist because the sea urchins would kill the entire kelp forest by destroying the root system of the kelp. And therefore, because sea otters eat sea urchins almost exclusively, they are the protectors of these kelp forests out there, and without them, these kelp forests would be long gone. So all of the plants and animals along the Pacific coast is all intertwined. It is all dependent on each other for its very survival. So unfortunately, there's only about 3,000 sea otters left. And they actually belong to the weasel family. And in an ecosystem such as this, the otters are what's known as a keystone species. But during the fur trade era of the 1700s all the way into the 1800s, sea otters were almost hunted to complete extinction. And as a matter of fact, only a few actually survived. But of those few that survived, every otter alive today is descended from those few survivors. Sea otters actually have the densest fur of any animal. And in only two and a half cubic centimeters, 
Otters have more hairs than are found on a human head, even though these giant sea otters were almost wiped out a few hundred years ago. You know, I do take to heart that at least humanity has learned to protect these species instead of letting them get to a point to where they're almost hunted to extinction. These are such incredible animals, and again, without them, all the kelp forests that every other animal and fish species relies on for their survival would have become extinct because the sea urchins would have killed them all. So if humanity in its ignorance did in fact bring these giant sea otters to extinction, this entire and extremely important ecosystem here along the Pacific coast would have gone extinct with those giant sea otters hundreds of years ago. Nothing would be able to survive here in this ocean without the presence of these incredible and important keystone species that are these giant sea otters. So this group of sea otters here, they're all tuckered out, and with good reason. Sea otters spend much of their energy just to survive, and their average rate is about 60 to 80 pounds, so they must eat about a quarter of their body weight every day just to stay healthy. So rest time is really critical, and that's what these guys are doing right now. And uh, what do you guys think about those otters? <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. So I'm here with Brian Cusco. If you are watching uh, Reptile Adventures, then you are very familiar with Brian. But uh, you know, this is the second time you've taken me to this place. And every time we come here, we see otters. This is incredible. There's two over there, one real close to shore over here. This is a really cool place in the world. And you live like two blocks from here, don't you? Yeah, there are otters here nine times out of 10. Yeah. If not nine and a half out of 10. Wow. And sometimes they're close, sometimes they're far, but it's a, this is a very special place in the world. Totally. So a great place to see California's most well-known seals, the California sea lion, is right here on the Santa Cruz Pier. So a lot of you horror fans will recognize this amusement park is where they filmed the Lost Boys here in Santa Cruz. But we didn't come here to look at vampires, we came here to see the California sea lion. You can just lean right over the edge and see all the California sea lions just hanging out, sunning themselves, being lazy. So a fun fact about sea lions is that they can eat 8% of their body weight in a single feeding. Large adult sea lions like this guy can weigh between four and 600 pounds. So sea lions are called pinnipeds, which means fin-footed. Pretty apt name for a sea lion. Here along the California coast, California sea lions are pretty common. And these guys will stick pretty close to shore, taking advantage of any place that they can to get out of the water and sun themselves before they go back in and hunt for their favorite food, which is fish and crustaceans. So we're up a little further on the coast here, north of Cayucas, and it's low tide, and as a matter of fact, it's really low tide. And so I'm gonna head down and see if I get a second chance at finding some of those sea stars out there. A couple more sea anemones here. However, there just are no starfish. In a scenario like this, just 15 years ago, there would be starfish everywhere along these rocks and obviously there isn't even a single one left. So guys, we're not finding the sea stars here, which unfortunately was kind of expected, but as a bonus, right behind me on these rocks is a whole group of harbor seals. And as I mentioned, California has five species of seals that live along the coastline here. That is one that I had hoped to see here, but didn't really expect to, because they just don't seem to be as common as the other seal species here, especially the California sea lions, which you can see along the entire coast. Man, this is really an unexpected treat to see these harbor seals out here. And these are the first harbor seals I have ever seen in the wild. Wow, I came out here to try to find the sea stars, found a seal species that I didn't expect to see. Man, this is why I love the California coast. Well guys, unfortunately we didn't see any sea stars here. This was probably going to be the last place that we could see them along our tour. Again, that disease just completely decimated their population. But I bet you in about five to 10 years, their populations are gonna rebound to what they were before the disease. But anyway, seeing those harbor seals out here was a huge bonus. But now we're gonna head up the coast of San Simeon to see these guys. These are the largest species of seal native to North America. And these are the elephant seals. So this is one of the only places along the California coast that you can see elephant seals like this up close. These are the largest seal species in North America, even bigger than walruses. 
These are incredible animals and they are tough and they are perfectly suited for survival here in the Pacific Ocean. They can actually slow their heartbeat down to four to seven beats a minute, which allows them to dive for more than 5,000 feet for more than two hours at a time. And they can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. When they are babies, they weigh about 40 to 75 pounds, but can gain up to 10 pounds a day. And unfortunately, like the story with the sea otters, a hundred years ago, elephant seals were almost hunted to extinction. And less than a hundred years ago, there was only a hundred elephant seals left. But today, there's over 150,000 of these elephant seals. And like the otters, every elephant seal alive today is a descendant from those surviving 100 animals. And when you know the story about how these elephant seals have survived essentially everything that life has thrown at them, and to see them here just being lazy on the beach without a care in the world, that is a true testament to how conservation efforts actually work and succeed. This is such a great and important place in the world. Well guys, that's the end of my California Coast Tour. You know, again, five species of seals, we got to see three of them, including the largest seal known to North America. And before you comment below and say, well, what about the walrus? Elephant seals are actually bigger than walruses. But comment below and let me know if you know what the other two species of seals that are native to California that we did not see in this video. And as always guys, there's more animal adventures coming up on this channel. So hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload. And until the next animal adventure, love the planet and rattle on.